tell you that. I'm just going to tell you that there is not much time left. This time itself is reaching its point of paradoxical singularity. It has come to speculation that since the observable issues around the increase and the lack of understanding and recognition of star people, extraterrestrial is irrelevant, however you may call them, we have no option but to be more pronounced and explicit. The reason being is the failure of disclosure by President or Prime Minister Vegas running the planet. Things regarding the subject has not been done, such as the Enemy Embassy, where issues have been caught up around the stupidity of money, currency, bureaucracy, secret military space embassies and they are the madness and stupidity of censorship and fear of world war. That any random landing may be possible at the end of the year since nothing has been done. Love and Hadith Namaste. this classified information into society could have an explosive effect. So, if you're listening to this, don't even think about tuning out. Close your Facebook window, shut down your email, turn off your cell phone, and listen very carefully. You're about to have a close encounter. As you listen to every word, you'll understand exactly why sinister powers are desperate to keep you in the dark. Hello there. This is another message or some bit of valuable information exposing the anti-ET agenda. From my last video and write up about the development of the fake aliens developed in underground bases for the fake alien invasion last card agenda, I had been attacked violently by Facebook. It has reached the point that I am in protest to abandon Facebook. It seems to be evolving from a social media tool into a mind manipulation tool with its enforced censorship and 30 or less day block punishment to shape the minds of people to follow and vibrate at a low thought pattern, inflicting trauma and fear and use of threats. It will hinder me with the exposure of my art and thoughts. But I feel if people abandon the website in protest and use other websites, it would set them back to understand the need for freedom of speech and expression, and to stop treating people like sheep. As promised I would be still doing a video of awareness sharing information once a week. Please do not fall for the lies and propaganda of the anti at mind machine. As I have mentioned before, that the extraterrestrials are willing to help only when they feel welcomed. The media that does focus on the existence of them is mostly bullshit, it's not bullshit here and there speckled through the internet, there is a shit tone of it. Most of the bullshit is done or compiled by part truths and added imagination by people who wish to earn a living on the uncertainty of extraterrestrials which had been developed on cover-ups and the destruction of valid evidence, thus producing the results of skeptics not positive at all, who are rational thinkers. Here for example, I have a channel whose videos I have watched done by a religious small-minded Bible perspective of the universe individual who promotes the nonsense of extraterrestrials being demons and fallen angels, has blocked from posting a comment or even doing a video response on his videos. Since I wanted comment on the video the fallen embassy to welcome our creators, which was a video based on his assumption about the Relian movement and the Elohim embassy, including his stupid opinions about the Starseed community. I would discuss about the Elohim embassy in a while later in this message, the problems the project encountered or is encountering and the reasons there are for people who seem to struggle to think about things but more often follow perceptions and cover-ups in regards to the project by mishaps in the Reelian movement. 
from human nature and flaws which occurs in all social groups of society which includes religions, cults and clubs depending on how you perceive them, and how the anti E.T. agenda supporters such as the Allies of Humanity New Message from God group have an effect on it, hiding the bigger picture, society is complicated around the enforcement of general perception and its enforced conformity, and submission with threat and fear, for example, gender perception and identification is a good example to use as a debate on this subject, and truth is if I had not been born as a hermaphrodite originally, I would not have seen beyond the binary gender perception or illusion of reality, which would not be able to lead me to think and analyze other illusions and general perceptions of mind conformity in society as a whole, which also includes the truth that God does not exist, he believes that star seeds, star children are devil children, not understanding the truth that all human beings that live on this planet are hybrids as well, just that people who identify themselves as hybrids tend to have more exotic genetic code, part of the development and improvement for fixing up things that went wrong in the beginning, some hybrids are avatars, who are living life and experiencing life in society, and memories are uploaded, and analyzed statistically to find out if this planet is worthwhile, or simply too much has gone wrong, and hope that things pan out for the positive if the ratio of perception of hate towards extraterrestrials is high, hoping that that people don't self-terminate and destroy all life on this planet, looking at things and what has been experienced, this seems like the most likely situation at present. Estimating the existence of life on this planet to span out for 28 years. These estimates are based on the radioactive pollution and how it's spreading, including virus like beliefs of the religio political elite, who use the economic financial system as a key factor as a primary excuse to implement their plans of inflicting their weapons of mass destruction on their own people and themselves. Ironically metaphoric in the stories of Star Wars, Darth Vader, the Sith and the Empire, I don't know how much I need to repeat myself to express the truth that Star People, the extraterrestrials generally known as are not demons, fallen angels or space invaders, it feels like I am encountering a huge wave of this ever-growing ignorance and fascist extremism the anti et agenda grows, and I am sharing information on their fears and the pain he never drops until it's too late. For me looking at the behavior response and negativity towards star people, I already feel it's too late and I am wasting my time with these writings and videos, but I still share my thoughts and information, hoping that something good would come out of it by someone who thinks and may have a better brain than me and who has less trauma than me and is more up for the challenge, that just taking each day as it comes, or someone who has more resources and someone within the religio-political elite to be courageous and realize the fact they're heading downhill, and have enough to use the resources they have and help me and others who want to have a positive change and be able to thrive and exist and be, and enjoy the gift of life as conscious individual human beings living as one, not just for planet Earth, but the galaxy, entire universe and beyond stretching through infinity. I don't follow the ideology that the majority push of bad aliens versus good aliens in a space wild west of cowboys and Indians, the nude grey and reptilian baddies versus the blonde haired blue jumpsuited goodies. It's all bullshit, regardless what shapes and sizes and appearances extraterrestrials are, they are consciously evolved human beings and if they were of low consciousness, they would have destroyed themselves and the existence of a planet like this one would perhaps only exist in their science fiction and fantasy novels as they would never have had the opportunity to see this planet in life, including the notion in term of alien is degrading and fascist and is used to describe people from different land masses called countries. As I mentioned earlier about the Relian movement and the plans to implement the Elohim Embassy and the reasons why critics see it as a non 
Atmati realizing white elephant is because of people's lack of thinking and understanding that this suggestion or idea is one of the best solutions because it allows a neutral, euthanized, religio-political free zone on this planet to occur, without the reliance too much on the statistical overall perception of extraterrestrials of the overall population on this planet for first contact with all peoples and that the extraterrestrials can start providing their full help and assistance, in the free right of the people of this planet, who can also seek asylum and safety from the blind justice imposed by the religio-political elite, despite the assumed and imagined strings attached to this project by critics. The Elohim style people extraterrestrials will not support the infection of the monetary financial ideology that has poisoned society and the consciousness of society in this planet to infiltrate it once it's implemented. If it is the star people would protest against it passively by not showing up. If people wish to make money on this project, the reason why it is a non-materializing white elephant is because of bureaucracy and the lack of thinking and stupid non-rational criticizing of it, since the movement do have the funds to construct it, but are up against a religio political wall of bureaucracy and policy and fear imposed by the anti at agenda, such as the nonsense that comes from allies of humanity new message from God, and from people who perceive star people to be demons and fallen angels from the restriction of their extremist theistic beliefs. I have nothing against theism neither does the movement, as they understand the right of people to believe what they wish to believe but do support in solving the bigger picture, on what lies underneath what people find and dismiss as God ranging from star people to the universe, consciousness to infinity in general, despite the human generated dramas and dilemmas that have occurred and documented by those people who left the movement, which in fact happen and occur in all social groups, clubs, cults and religions from misunderstandings and unsolved disputes. There is a saying that familiarity breeds content, where people fail to live and work together regardless on how they see things in their own individual perspective. Paradism is one of the ideas that prove that the Relian movement does not support the New World Order as the religio-political elites wish to implement which is a one-world dictatorship and is not associated with Freemasonry as Daniel Vandinger. The next Raelian guide and now allies of humanity new message from God member says, he has failed to understand that the symbols in Freemasonry have been taken stolen, and have been altered from their true meaning, thus mystifying science about the geometric laws of attraction and repulsion forces of the universe and beyond as being God, to hide the secret of tapping into infinite energy, and be able to travel the stars. Radians are atheist and Freemasons are theists, first noticeable obvious flaw in the Daniels book just by looking at it before analyzing its contents. Atheists are people who do not believe in the existence of a deity or divine entity. This delusion of a divine entity has been brainwashed into people in this earth society to construct a fabricated authority. For example the Queen of England, who is the said authority of the United Kingdom, who is stated to be the supposed authority over her, the answer is God, which renders the hierarchy of authority invalid because God does not exist, it is the same model the Freemasons use within their degrees of structure, it is a flawed system or structure due to inconsistency and in human nature, and most likely that when corruption occurs it gets passed down the chain of command. The true meaning of the all-seeing eye refers to the sixth sense and consciousness, but gets changed to be seen as an authoritative enforcement symbol of posing the religio-political elite above the rest of the people on this planet, known in the Illuminati symbol. What you call the Illuminati, I call the religio-political elites, as it's a better word to describe these people, as they do opposite to the name they call themselves, as they not enlightened at all, and do not pose as the consciousness of love, compassion and understanding, only vibrate at the low consciousness of power and domination, 
keeping the knowledge and information to themselves and using it to exploit people, fauna, flora and the planet itself. Hello, I'm Severin Suzuki speaking for ECHO, the Environmental Children's Organization. We're a group of 12 and 13 year olds trying to make a difference. We've raised all the money to come here ourselves, to come 5,000 miles to tell you adults you must change your ways. Coming up here today, I have no hidden agenda. I am fighting for my future. Losing my future is not like losing an election or a few points on the stock market. I am here to speak for all generations to come. I am here to spe speak on behalf of the starving children around the world whose cries go unheard. I am here to speak for the countless animals dying across this planet because they have nowhere left to go. I am afraid to go out in the sun now because of the holes in our ozone. I'm afraid to breathe the air because I don't know what chemicals are in it. I used to go, in, I used to go fishing in Vancouver, my home, with my dad, until just a few years ago, we found the fish full of cancers. And now we hear of animals and plants going extinct every day, vanishing forever. In my life, I have dreamt of seeing the great herds of wild animals, jungles and rainforests full of birds and butterflies. I wonder but if they will even exist for my children to see. Did you have to worry of these things when you were my age? All this is happening before our eyes and yet we act as if we have all the time we want and all the solutions. I'm only a child and I don't have all the solutions. But I know, I want you to realize, neither do you. You don't know how to fix the holes in our ozone layer. You don't know how to bring the salmon back up in a dead stream. You don't know how to bring back an animal now extinct. And you can't bring back the forest that once grew where there is now a desert. If you don't know how to fix it, Please, stop breaking it. Here, you may be delegates of your government, business people, organizers, reporters, or politicians. But really, your mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, aunts and uncles, and all... I'm only a child, yet I know we are all part of a family. Five billion strong. In fact, 30 million species strong. And borders and governments will never change that. I'm only a child, yet I know we are all in this together and should act as one single world towards one single goal. And should act as one single world towards one single goal.